so you already have a lot of uh, validators and you can extend them for different types. Yeah, because um, like we saw, the min is not defined for year. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, they cannot imagine every type that you have. Yeah, sure. Um, that exists somewhere and you can extend this for your needs. And I mean, min in our case is like, um, yeah, it matches. Mm -hmm. It makes sense to use it or to, to extend it so we can extend it. Okay. Um, but with 500 validators, you can also um, add new annotations mm -hmm. and then use your uh, own validators for these new annotations. So you can also have a look at that now. Sounds good. So we saw how we used the min annotation here um, and we will create our own annotation. For this, we first have a look into the min annotation because Hibernate validator requires some stuff from us. So such an annotation that we can use must have a message. Mm -hmm. uh, you see here, this is not directly a message. It's... Um, Looks like a key. Yeah, it's a key of the localization stuff. And here's a ah. big localization properties uh, built into Quarkus and you can see all the messages here and you can see they can uh, reference the values from the annotation here. Directly. Ah, That's how, okay. how they get the values in here. Mm -hmm. So in your own service, you can just create this on your own. Okay. Um, so we need to have this. Mm -hmm. So it can, you saw on the... In Isn't there an interface here. for it you can use? Or is this... Well, we, we want to create our own um, annotation. Ah, okay. So, okay. Mm -hmm. so we have to uh, create this on our own. Okay. Um, then also there's groups. Uh, groups is a concept uh, so you can switch between validations. Um, we, we can uh, maybe also talk about this later a bit, um, but uh, I tried it before and something didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so I will only tell you what the doc says. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are the most important ones. Um, and then we also have here like the, the actual value we want to set if we for for example for our min we want to set this a thousand mm -hmm. um but we can also have multiple um like we saw with uh did you saw did you see here and here we have integer okay. and fraction okay mm -hmm. now there's one thing this groups thing requires an array of class mm -hmm. these class so here, there are no compile time constants. And Kotlin does not allow to build arrays with not compile time constants in annotations. That's a stupid limitation of Kotlin that exists since always, and I haven't seen a fix for it. <laughs> okay. So, so we're going to write in Java this time? Yes. All right. <laughs> the nice thing is, we just add the Java folder um, and it will work. Just making the same package uh, because we will basically do the same as the min thing. Uh, let's get this. We have created the min class. So you know that I copy pasted code that I selected into this package and IntelliJ made a class out of it. That's nice. That's amazing. Um, so the target. Target is where you can put this annotation. Ah, oh, nice. Mm -hmm. And I want to import everything. I and do it like that. Re retention. <laughs> is when will this annotation be available? Um, what does that mean? You can have it only in the source. Ah. So mm -hmm. for example, for documentation purposes or so, or for, mm -hmm. for just for you, yeah, for you to see. Um, then you can have it in the, in the class file, which is a compiled, mm -hmm. um, Kotlin is first compiled to class file and that is then later run by the JVM. Mm -hmm. um, and you can have it at runtime and then get access to it at runtime. Okay. So, because we 
need to be able to use it during runtime. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we need to make it runtime. That okay. is not needed. That is not needed. Um, that is needed. That is required. And that's from yeah, Hibernate validators. It must be there so you can use it. Then the message, the min message might be okay, but we can also. Why is this not working? We can do our own message. Uh, yeah. Ah, we don't want to call it min, probably. We want to call it min year. I'm creative again. <laughs> uh, year must be later than or equal to value. OK, um, that's just stuff we have that's not needed. I get rid of this. OK, that's the basic thing we need Okay. Um, for a Hibernate validator to be able to work. The value you have, the long value, this is something you uh, write into the uh, yeah. decorator? Or that's so you'd only need it if there's a value here. associated with it? Okay. Um, if there's no value associated with it, then you, then you don't need it. Yeah. Okay. For example, for not blank, mm -hmm. it doesn't need a value. There's here no value. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, oh, nice. Um, and there's the Java convention uh, that when you name it value in an annotation, mm -hmm. then it's the def default. You see here, I had to specify the name because it's called ah. integer and mm -hmm. fraction. And here I didn't because it's called value. So whenever ah. you call it value, then it's very convenient. Mm -hmm. If you have multiple, then you probably name it differently. Ah, interesting, okay. So that's why we call it value, although it's not a very nice way uh, name. Probably you would rather call it like min year or so, which is mm -hmm. much more speaking. Um, and we always love speaking names. <laughs> what? What we could do is we could make it an int because years probably don't Will go too long. Mm -hmm. um, so that's enough for us. OK. Um, now we need to adapt our validator. Instead of the min, we want to use the min year. And obviously, that needs to be adapted. And that's it. Of course, if you add your own annotation, then you need to add this validator here. Um, but yeah. That's... Mm. And this year must be later than or equal to a thousand. Nice. And you can now, you could also, uh, like this. So now we have this hard coded in here. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, you can also uh, do it like they do, uh, reference the key for the localization, and Quarkus will then translate it, and you can provide the different um, translations. Nice. Yeah, that's how you make custom validators with your custom annotations.